guys, it's Alex. So today I'm going to be doing my favorites for 2013. I have a little bit of everything, some beauty, some non-beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. A few of the categories that you might have seen in other people's um, 2013 favorites I don't have. Um, just because I don't have a favorite in that, like I don't use it that much, as in blush and bronzer. I don't use it that often, so I don't have like a holy grail one that I want to show you guys. But I am going to go ahead and start off with skincare. Um, I don't do much for skincare, however, in the last few days, I have been putting together a little bit of a routine with some products that I got over the weekend. Um, so that's kind of exciting and I hope that that starts to motivate me to continue the routine. But the things that I do use are the two creams from Pons. I have the Dry Skin Cream, which is part of the, um, it's called the Caring Classic. And it's just a face moisturizer. I do like it, however, I don't wear it under makeup because I feel like it's too greasy slash heavy. Um, but I do wear it at night and I really like it. I also have the Pond's Cold Cream, which is called the Cool Classic, and this deep cleans and removes makeup, so it just looks like this, and you use the smallest amount. I've had this for forever, and I'm literally not past this area on it. It's crazy, um, but it just takes off all your makeup really nicely, although I do find to get my mascara off, I end up having to use two products, and my other favorite makeup remover is the um, Equate, which is just the Walmart brand, and this is like the dupe for the Neutrogena um, oil-free makeup remover and I really like this. I just love the way it makes my skin feel afterwards. It's not tight. It's not too greasy. It's like a very satiny feeling. I really like this and I find that these two really work well together to take off my mascara. So I love those. For hair care, that's another one of the things that I don't really um, have too much of or have a routine, but I do love, and you might laugh at me for this, the Suave Kids Detangling Spray. I almost whacked myself in the head. Um, I My sister's been using this for, like, ever, since she was really little. When I was little, I'm sure I had a detangling spray, but I don't really remember it. And I found that my hair was just breaking really easily when I was trying to brush it and stuff, and so I grabbed this, and I this is probably... I don't know, like my fifth or sixth bottle. Like I just use these things up because it's just so helpful and it's not too chemically for your hair because it's for kids. Um, so it's not like too bad for you or bad for your hair. And it smells like um, apple, which I don't really love, but I don't think that it smells like apple, but that's the scent. Anyways, so this is what I use for hair care. <laughs> um, for body, I love the Bath & Body Works Triple Moisture Body Creams. I fell in love with one um, at the beginning of this past summer and I had to go buy some more. So I bought three more and I've just been using them sparingly because they're not cheap. They're like $12.50 for some lotion, but you know I got those on sale, so it's fine. But this is the one in um, Sexy, and I'm not sure if it's by Dahlia Rush or if Dahlia Rush is part of it, but this is what it looks like, and it is just so thick, so creamy. It smells delicious, and I have a couple other scents, but this is by far my favorite. Um, it smells so great, and I love putting this on after I get out of the shower or if I really just feel like I need to deep moisturize, so uh, this is great. My all-time favorite fragrance, especially for this year and for as long as I've had it, which I think has been a couple years, has been the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. The green one, not the golden Be Delicious or anything, but um, I just love it. It is just my scent. I just, oof, it is so great. Um, I picked this up a few years ago, like I said, and I haven't stopped using it since. Um, I don't wear fragrance every day, but this is definitely my go-to. Um, more recent favorite, I guess, like very recent, would be the um, Bath & Body Works Beautiful Day Spray. For some reason, and one of my friends agreed with me, this kind of takes me back to childhood. Like, that might sound weird, but it just smells so good. I don't know if it reminds me of like a scent a teacher used to wear that I had or what, but it just smells so good and it just kind of is like brings up nostalgic memories and I know that like scent is connected to your memory really well so there must be a link there but I can't figure it out. Either way, I really like this. As you can see, I've barely used any, um, but it just smells so good, and it's definitely, like, one of my favorite scents. The other body spray that I have that I really, really absolutely love, and I've used it all summer. For summer, it was definitely one of my go-to ones because it was light and um, smells so good. It is the Pink uh, with a Splash 
pretty and pure, and I think I got this last um, Christmas, and I've clearly used a lot, if you can tell, but I really like this. It's just so yummy. And next is foundation. Um, as you guys probably know from my channel, I don't really use liquid foundations. However, I do love the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC35 is the color I have. I am hit and pan pretty majorly, and I'm going to need a new one soon. Luckily, I got a MAC gift card for Christmas, so... I can hit that up, but this is my favorite. It's great coverage, it's easy to apply, and just all over the best foundation I've ever used. For concealer, I'm sure you see this one coming. It's the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. Mine is in medium light. I just think it has the perfect amount of coverage. It's not too thick. I know a lot of people say that it's very thick, and I do think it is a thicker, creamy consistency, but it just works so well for my skin, and I absolutely love it. For eyeshadow, I am going to show you three things that were definitely, definitely my most used. The first one being Stila's Kitten Eyeshadow. Um, for some reason, the top just comes off randomly. It's okay. But it's just a really pretty champagne color. I'm pretty sure I've shown this to you guys. But it's just, like, the best. And next would be my MAC Tempting Quad. Most predominantly the MAC Tempting Eyeshadow. And also the, sh the eyeshadow in Dark Edge, which are these two. This is Tempting and this is Dark Edge. And I use Tempting pretty much daily. Today I actually didn't. I switched it up. But um, I wear this so often. It's probably my most used um, crease color. It is my most used crease color for sure. And then I love Dark Edge. I'll kind of do like an outer V with that with Tempting in the crease. And that has just definitely been my most used palette, I guess, for the entire year. A close runner-up would be my Naked Basics palette, which I also received for Christmas last year, and I've been using it throughout the year. I love all of the colors in it, and more recently I've been using the um, black color in it, which is called Crave, as my eyeliner. So this is just absolutely amazing and I really 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 want to get the Naked 2 palette because I just think as you can see with the colors I've shown you those are the colors that are basically in it so I'm pretty sure that I want to get that eventually. A mascara that I used a lot over 2013 was the CoverGirl Clump Crushers mascara and I do like it um, but and it was probably my most used over 2013 that's why I wanted to mention it however my favorite mascara of 2013, and I'm pretty sure is going to be for all time, as I've said before, is the um, Benefits They're Real mascara. I got this sample, and I absolutely love it. Like, it is just so great. I really like it, and I actually just got another sample of it for free when I did a brow party at Ulta, so... I am so excited that I have a plethora of their reel to keep me going. For lips, I am going to show you a few different favorites. For lipstick, I have the Revlon Lipstick in Soft Rose, which is what I'm wearing today, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it on my channel before. It is just a really soft rose color. Um, it's almost a deeper rose, I would say. To me, when I picture a rose, I kind of picture a bright red, but this is definitely like a more muted, um, maybe a mauve red color, uh, if that's how you want to think of it. But it's just really, really pretty, and I love the color payoff and how long it stays on. As for a lip gloss slash lip stain, I have the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Lip Color, and this is in the color... Grand Garnet, and this is just the all-time best, best red lip color I have ever used. For nail polish, I again have some old favorites and some new favorites. So for old favorites, um, one of my oldest uh, Orly nail polishes is in the color Buried Treasure, and I'm pretty sure this was a pretty popular color a while ago, um, maybe over the summer or even two summers ago, and it's just this really pretty coppery rose gold color. Um, I like it because it's kind of metallic-y sheen, and that's fun, and I also just love the color. Um, Orly nail polishes are really great, and they don't chip too, too bad, especially in the summer when I'm in the water. Nail polish chips like crazy, but um, this holds up pretty well. Another one that I love is the China Glaze Nail Polish in Four Leaf Clover, and it's just this really pretty uh, teal aqua color, and it's just so bright. 
I loved it all summer. I used it on my toes and my uh, fingers, and I love it just as a pop of color if I'm doing like neutrals all over, a pop of color on the ring finger. I know, so cliche, but I really do love that combination. Now a more recent favorite, and I'm saying recent as in literally two days, um, would be the OPI nail polish in my favorite ornament, and it is just this really, really pretty silvery gold glitter color, and I'm actually wearing it on my nails. It is just, it's amazing. Now for fashion. So some of the things that I've been loving lately have definitely been sweaters, and I've never really been a sweater person. I've owned sweaters, haven't really worn them, but this fall slash winter, I've definitely been wearing the heck out of some sweaters. Um, as you guys saw in my Christmas haul, I got a few different sweaters from Gap, so I've been wearing those lately. And then before that, I also had some other sweaters from Gap that I loved. Um, this is one of the sweaters that I actually got from Gap. I've been loving some black jeggings. <laughs> um, I actually bought these a while ago before the holidays at American Eagle, and they're just black jeggings. So they're stretchy, they're comfy, and they're black, which basically in my mind is like a classier version of black leggings to me. You look a little bit more put together, but you still have the comfort of the jegging material and you still get the black slimming look. Now for accessories, kind of. I've been loving Alex and Ani bracelets. I got a few for Christmas, as you saw, and um, in the fall I actually received this Alex and Ani bracelet for my birthday, and I just love them because um, of their fit. I have fairly larger wrists, so finding really cute bracelets that fit my wrists is sometimes a challenge, but these fit so nicely, and they're retractable so you can make them um, tighter or a little bit looser, and I just, they fit so well, and they're so cute and dainty, and I love them. Also in the fall, I picked up some Fry boots, and I absolutely am in love. I wear them all the time. They're probably my most worn shoe for the fall and winter. I'm like 98% sure that they are. And these are the Fry Veronica slouch boots. I have clearly gotten some good use out of them, as you can see, but they are so great, and I got them on sale, so they didn't break the bank too harshly, um, so that's great, and they're going to last me forever. My most worn earrings for the year have definitely been studs, and I love, like, little pearls and little diamonds in my second hole, but these are also some of my favorite that I got for my birthday from my sister, and they're just these really cute little multicolored um, beaded balls, kind of. They're just so unique and so pretty, and I really love them. For candles, my all-time favorite scented candle is from Bath & Body Works, and it's a pretty universal favorite for everyone, but it's Leaves Candle. Um, as you can see, I burned the heck out of it, and I also have a few mini ones scattered also around my room, so I, like, the scent just kind of disperses everywhere. Um, but this is so great. A more recent candle favorite is the Sparkling Icicles uh, candle by Bath & Body Works. This smells like a fresh, clean man, and it just smells so good. And I don't know why my room smells like a freshly, sh like, clean man, except for the fact that it smells delicious, so why not? But yeah, um, I burned this a few times, and I really, really, really love it. And I can see myself burning it far into 2014. Now for my favorite book, I absolutely love reading and I feel like I'm always reading a book. And 2013 I had a lot, a lot of school reading um, when I was in high school, so that part of 2013. Um, so I felt like I was always reading for school, I didn't get a lot of pleasure reading in, and then over the summer I would just pick up random books that I had or um, my grandma and I kind of like share books because, I mean, I just love books, so I'll read anything. I found myself rereading a lot of stuff. Um, in the fall, I reread the Hunger Games series to get me amped up for Catching Fire, um, the movie release, and um, I read some of the um, True Blood series books. They're the Charlene Harris books, um, and they are the books that True Blood was based on. I found myself rereading a lot of those because I just absolutely love that whole series, so um, I reread a lot of that. But my favorite book um, more recently, and I'm pretty sure just like all over for the year, was the book Divergent, and this is the first book in the Divergent series. Um, my sister actually got the entire series for Christmas, so I need to get on that because she's already on the third, and I need to read the second, so I definitely need to read Insurgent and then Allegiant to finish it off, and I cannot wait for Divergent to come out in March because it's just going to be like 
a pretty big highlight of the year, I'm guessing, because I just absolutely love the book, and I have loved all of the trailers and spoofs, not spoofs, um, and like teasers that I've seen of the movie, so I just know that I'm going to love it. My favorite movie, as I have already stated, um, was Catching Fire. I just absolutely loved it. I loved the entire book series. I loved Hunger Games, the first movie, and I just... Catching Fire was awesome. I saw it twice in theaters, and I can't wait for it to come out on DVD. I'm not sure when that happens, but I have to look that up, actually. Um, but I'm excited to be able to own it and watch it whenever I want. For music, um, I really loved going to different shows this year. I had never been to a concert until the fall of 2012, um, when I went to actually see YouTube uh, singers. We went and saw the Alex Scoot tour, and... Luke was there, and Corey was there, and we got to meet Ingrid because they were still dating then, which is kind of sad they broke up, but it's okay. But that was my first concert in 2012, and then in 2013, um, we saw them again in August, and um, I got to see uh, Alex again, Luke again, and we got to see Landon Austin, which is like, ah, like I freaking love him, guys. <sighs> He's just so sweet. It's so cute, and yeah, it was just amazing. We also got to meet Sam Sui, or Tui, I'm not exactly sure how you say it, and he was a great performer and a great singer and so sweet, but that was definitely a lot of the YouTube music for me. That was some of my favorites for the year. Um, also, I went and saw the band Delta Ray play when they came to a town near me in June or July uh, with my best friend Abby, and we saw them and the band The Wild Feathers open for them, and I'm not sure if you've heard of either of those bands, but they're getting pretty popular, and I'm so excited because they definitely deserve it. Their music is awesome, so I really love their music. I think it was just, like, going to the live shows, like, provoked me to just enjoy their music so much and listen to it all the time, and that... Uh, CD was like what I listened to for the remainder of the summer after I saw them because it was so great. Another music favorite of mine has been the band The Somerset. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of them. If not, go look them up because I love all of their music, um, at least the stuff that I've heard, and I've heard quite a lot thanks to my friend Carly because she and her sister introduced them to me, and they're just so great. It's like really pumped up music and just fun, catchy songs, and I have a ton of it on my phone. Um, maybe I can insert some into this video as intro music or something, but um, they're just so great, and I'm supposed to see them in March of 2014, so I can't wait to do that. For food favorites, uh, this was a year of trying some new things and actually liking them. Um, I have tried oatmeal millions of times and just been like, I can't get over the consistency of the mushy gushies, and I couldn't handle it. But this year, especially um, this fall slash winter, I have been loving oatmeal, which is just crazy to me because I was pretty sure I was going to like just vom every time I ate it in the past, but I really um, just love it now, and I eat it almost every morning. I had it this morning with bananas and honey and cinnamon, and it's just like the best way to start your day. Another food favorite of mine isn't exactly food, it's gum, but I cannot count how many packs I've had of this on two hands, so I know that it's clearly a favorite of 2013, and that is the Trident Cinnamon Gum. I keep a pack like everywhere, backpack, purse, car, you know, everywhere, room, and I just go through this stuff like there's no tomorrow. As for technology favorites, which is something I hadn't really seen, but I'm putting it in there, um, would be what I'm filming on right now, my camera. I have been loving getting back into YouTube the past couple of weeks, and my camera makes it possible for me to do that. So that's great. Also, another one um, would be what I edit with, and also what I spend a lot of my time on, and that would be my MacBook Pro. Um, I forgot to show my case in my uh, Christmas haul, so you guys now get to see it. It's just this really pretty Tiffany blue case that I got for Christmas, and yes, my MacBook Pro is definitely a favorite. I use it all the time. Uh, for my third favorite, I'd have to say my iPhone. This has been the year that I got an iPhone, and I've absolutely loved it. It's just the best, and I love this whole clear back case. It's not just a bumper. It's actually a clear back hard case, because you can see it, and I love the white iPhone, so you'll see I love it a lot. And the final category that I'm going to talk about would be my favorite YouTubers. Um, so as for like a beauty guru or whatever you want to say that I love, I absolutely love Cerebell 93X. Um, I just follow her religiously. I have for a long time it feels like and I just love her videos and her um, personality. I just think she's really cute, like really sweet and I love her videos and her fashion style so 
that's fun. Um, but I'd have to say some of my most watched, and it has been in a very concentrated amount of time, um, and it has been recently, but still, if I were to spread that over the year, it would still be like my most watched, if that makes sense. And that is basically all of the YouTubers across the pond. So not necessarily in just England, but also South America even though he wasn't in South America for a lot of it, but Casper Lee, um, and then I just love all the British YouTubers, so Zoe and Alfie, Zalfi, gotta love them, uh, Marcus, Jim and Tanya, um, I loved watching their vlogmas, and because of a lot of their vlogmases, I, like, went deeper into their channel, especially Jim, Tanya, and Alfie, um, I've known Alfie for a while because of Marcus, I used to watch him a lot, um, and I, I've continuously watched him a lot, also Zoe I've continuously watched a lot because of the beauty side. So those were my favorites for 2013. It was a pretty good year. Kind of hectic at some times, but overall a pretty good year. And I'm so excited for 2014 to be just as great or even better than last year. So I hope you all have a great day and an even better year, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! And I absolutely love it.